bus capacitor. They did it. They finally invent something that works. All right. So yesterday we started with our pool plotting configuration, which I had a video upload before. They have announced that the release of Chia 1.2.0 is going to be released today, July 7th, which supports pools and plotting through that GUI. So that's really good news. It's no longer in beta. It will be released today at some point. I don't know when. Uh, what we're going to be doing in the video today is I'm going to show you how to use some of the tools that I had videos on before, which is affinity settings and parallel plotting with Mad Max. So that as well as the trim setting on your SSD has a huge impact and how we can schedule this to basically continuously go once we're plotting. So anyways, this is going to be a really short video. Uh, I'm going to also be posting another step-by-step -step video because apparently my first video was not clear enough and people wanted like more step-by-step -step stuff, but they didn't read the description and blah, anyways. So, what we're gonna do here today is we're going to look for a use case to use affinity settings and how to use them with Mad Max. The reason why you might wanna do parallel plotting with Mad Max is if you have multiple NVMe drives or multiple SSD drives or what have you, and you wanna attribute certain CPUs to that one SSD. In this case right now, we have an SSD and an NVMe. And what we're going to be doing is we wanna utilize both of those drives with certain amount of cores. So the first one we'll do uh, five cores, then we'll do the bottom five cores for uh, the second execution. The reason why you wanna do this is because you can have several drives and there is a depreciating rate of return adding more threads to Mad Max. You can throw every thread at it, but if, this, if the hard drive is the bottleneck, the CPU threads are not going to be hitting 100% at all times, especially if you have you know, 35 threads or 32 threads or what have you. All of those going to one NVMe drive. If it's an SSD, it's too slow and the bottleneck will be uh, the drive and you'll have tons of utilization left in your CPU uh, threads. So what we want to do is we want to optimize that flow for the drives that we're plotting to. Meaning the this drive, this SSD here is really slow. So I'm only going to uh, put four uh, thread, CPU threads to it, even though I specify 12 within the Mad Max command, I'm only going to be allowing the first four threads to be used on that. On the second PowerShell window, I'm going to be using the, the last four, th uh, five threads just to show you guys how it works. So the way we do this is we have two PowerShell windows open. Um, what we'll do is close this one. And once we have this open, we're going to expand this, right click on the actual uh, PowerShell window, click go to details, PowerShell, we're going to set affinity and it's going to be the first, well, let's say one, two, three, four. So we'll do the first four cores. Uh, usually set affinity, yeah, that's fine. And let's set priority, I already have it set to real time. You're going to want to set priority and affinity settings for each one of these uh, PowerShell windows. So we'll open up another PowerShell window before we execute uh, everything. Run as admin. And here pops up the second PowerShell window. Let's set affinities. The default is all of them, but we're only going to do the last five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we'll set the priority to be high, even uh, real time, even though we don't uh, we don't really need it. 
So let's go to Mad Max and we're going to execute our first command in this one PowerShell window, which is going to be the first four threads. Hit enter. That's going to our E drive. We're also going to copy this. So you can see here we have one, two, three, four threads that are going off because we prevented any other use of threads within that PowerShell window. So anything that that PowerShell window is executing, uh, for instance, right now it's executing chia.plot, it still only has access to these four threads. It cannot use any other threads. So that's a really good way of maximizing your hardware and efficiency. So that's going to our E drive. I kind of wish we had more. Uh, we can add more threads, in fact. Why don't we go here and let's add the last thread. So PowerShell, go to details, right click, set affinity. Let's add one more thread to it. So CPU 11, hit OK. Go back to performance. And now this CPU should start to spike up. One, two, three, four, and this one here should spike up any second. Hmm. We may need to go into the, oh, I see. So because we added it after the Chia plot was executed, we need to actually go to the Chia plot executable and add a new thread. So set affinity. So we'll add CPU 11, say okay. And now CPU 11 is going up. So the way that worked basically was because we had basically the overlying uh, PowerShell was allowing for four CPUs. Once we executed the uh, Chia plot, it was still using the four CPUs that we allowed. We couldn't change. We couldn't change that. We had to actually change it on the Chia plot itself. Chia plot.exe itself. So now you can see here we have five threads going onto our E drive here. So uh, with that said, we also have a, another Chia uh, PowerShell window open. We're going to uh, go to details. We're going to change the affinity, set affinity. And this one we're actually going to just do, let's do two cores in the middle here. Uh, we'll go six and seven. So let's see what we have. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these two cores will be uh, kicking off. I'm gonna change this to our D drive real quick. Hit enter, and now we're gonna see these two uh, threads spike up. I can't use any other threads because uh, we're not allowing it within that PowerShell window. We could, again, go into this PowerShell and edit this chiaplot.exe and we could uh, set affinity and we can add more threads to this specific exe, which again, there's only those two here. If we add another one, it would do the same thing as that. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was trimming your SSD. One thing you're gonna notice is that sometimes the first phase will be totally out of whack after several plots. So I noticed yesterday that after plotting you know, four or five times, one of them would start taking really, really long on phase one, two, and everything. What I was able to find out was trimming your uh, SSD actually greatly uh, improves the performance. So typically, the SSDs are on a weekly trim level. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that that's on a daily trim level and we want to do that uh, by ourselves as well. So if you click on properties on the drive, go to tools, click optimize, it'll tell you the last time that you've trimmed the drive. So we can go ahead and say, okay, well, E drive, click optimize and it'll trim. And what that does is almost like a format, but it deletes all of the excess uh, deleted files that were on there. So it basically clears its cache uh, almost like a format and it actually helps significantly with plot time. I noticed 
uh, when this got out of control uh, long, I mean, it's 46 second, 47 seconds here for the first plot, uh, pool table creation, uh, it was up to like 700. And then mid plot creation, I trimmed it and it went back down to 47 seconds. So the last thing is we wanna make sure that this is set to daily, its default is set to weekly, but because we're gonna be plotting every day, we wanna make sure that this is set to daily and make sure that all of your SSDs and NVMEs are trimmed uh, so that it's efficient and it's that's just the way it is. So this one's taking forever because it's on the slowest SSD I've ever seen in my life. I'm probably just gonna throw those out. Um, but you can see us being able to attribute certain threads to certain executables, which is really cool because at certain point, the bottleneck is not going to be your CPU threads, it's going to be the hard disk. So right now when we're using uh, two threads for, for this disk, the CPU isn't even utilized. The disk is at 100%, so the disk is the bottleneck. So because the disk is so slow, we only need two threads because if I toss 12 threads at this, the CPU would never be at 100% because it would always be the bottleneck of the slow drive that we're using. So anyways, trimming, do that daily, if not multiple times a day, uh, to keep your SSDs and NVMEs efficient. And uh, affinity settings with multiple NVMe drives actually really helps and you can actually find a perfect sweet spot with how many threads you want to throw at uh, that specific drive. So that's when you would use Mad Max in parallel. And yeah, so that's it. Happy plotting. They're releasing the new Chia official uh, 1.2.0 today. I just saw a Reddit post that today is the release of the official pool plotting. So that's really exciting. We no longer have to deal with this. People saying, oh, it's beta, It's own, don't, don't plot. We can actually start plotting for pools today once they release uh, the new Chia executable on their website and that is going today. So, yep, we won our first Chia reward. If you take a look at my beautiful Chia blocks, let's click on my pool and uh, wallet and I got added two Chia rewards for the plots that I posted yesterday, which is really cool. So less than a day, we're gonna be getting more and more and more rewards uh, on a daily. So it's working, we're there, we've got pools, we can stop complaining, hopefully, and uh, happy plotting everybody. I'll Chia in the future.